what's going on y'all I want to show you these two macros that I've created uh, one is called copy and move to cursor and the other is called copy range down uh, now just as a quick overview uh, macros are basically a a list of key commands or actions um, that you can program to do with a with a click of a button um, and if you got this little robot icon up here then you've got the macro toolbar toolbar installed um, if you don't uh, the way to get it is if you go into files and go to exchange and we've got to sign in uh, sign in and presonus exchange shows up and under extensions you'll see studio one macro toolbar and down here you can install it and once you got that installed you can install other uh, a whole list of macros here so these two that I've created I've uploaded to Presonus Exchange so they you can uh, download them from there uh, the first one the copy and move to cursor so I, I created this one for copying hooks so for example this hook here All about my money and my money you don't play with. I'm going to copy it after this verse here. So, first thing I'm going to do is get the hook lined up on an even part. Let's, let's see. Actually, I'm going to see if I can get it at nine. And yes, yeah, so you can see that's not cutting off any of the uh, any of the beginning of the hook. And normally a hook will start kind of before the downbeat. But so I see it's on nine. I want to paste it right after this verse. So uh, the way to use this macro is what it's doing is going to copy. It's going to copy the selected events and then paste them where the cursor is. So I've got the cursor placed where I want the hook to be and I've put it under the edit group and copy and move to cursor and it copies my hook down for me and then we just check it to make sure it's right oh what I'll keep it moving like a U-Haul all about my money and my money you don't play with and there you go so that, that macro is really good for uh, copy and pasting hooks uh, the second one copy range down I created this one. Uh, let's take a listen to this verse here. Money, all about my money, that Betty. Okay, so let's say money. Let's say I wanted to edit uh, the word money. Money, all about my money. Right here. So with, with this macro, what it does is it creates a new track, copies the selected range copies it down to the track below it and meets the original so what this is good for is now I can edit this and do whatever I want to it and I still have the original above it if I want to get back to it I can quickly get back to the original if I screw something up um, you know without that a lot of times you get to editing something and you have to go through a whole series of undo to get back to the original uh, so this way you can you know, take certain words, phrases, um, drum parts, anything, and copy them down to the next track. Also, um, it's also, if you notice here, it's keeping my plugins intact as well. So I don't have to reset up the plugins. Uh, another good use for this is if I um, had a delay set up and I wanted a delay on a certain word, I can just copy that certain word out use that macro to bring it down to the next track and therefore the delay would just be on that one word uh, now I don't normally do that when I use delays I'll just um, if I wanted the delay on one word I would just use automation and have the delay on whenever that whenever that word is and have the automation turn the delay back off when it's not um, but there you go there's uh, two macros I've created um, I encourage you to really take a look at those macros because there's a lot of things that you can do with them and I'm really mad at myself that I haven't discovered this sooner but uh, 
yeah, check that out, and I will catch y'all next time.